everyone, it's Gidu. Um, so in this video I'm going to be doing a flip through of the art of Tadashi Hiramatsu. So it is his art book that has a bunch of stuff including Uranice and Parasite, which are the two things that I'm most interested in that I've seen that has been in this. So this is what the front cover looks like. If you hear any strange ass noises, it's because I'm literally perched awkwardly on my desk chair and trying to lean over top of this lovely stand I made which is just a stack of books so it's kind of awkward and it's really uncomfortable this is the front of the book and I'm just gonna flip it over this is what the spine looks like I'm gonna flip it over it is completely glossy uh it's hard to tell I hope this lighting's all right I tried putting my lamp here at an angle so it won't be too like it won't leave too many reflections so now we're gonna take the cover off because I don't do flip throughs with the covers on. Oh god, this book is really thick. I don't know exactly how many pages it is. Um, I wonder if it says on it. I don't believe it does, but it will probably say so inside. So this is the front of the uncovered bit. Here's the back. So this one is opened North American style. The front of the book is opening to the right, left, I don't know. Um, inside just plain. Here is the front cover. Sorry this video, I'm warning you now, it's going to be quite long. This is a very large book. If you can't see, the size of it is quite huge. And I hope the setting is a little better than normal. Um, I'm trying to improve on it. I don't have a tripod or anything, so it's very difficult. And I can already see a Gurren Lagan, 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 Lagoon, Lagan. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Um, and a bunch of other stuff I don't know. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can, but we'll see how fast that is possible. Sorry if you hear me, like, weirdly heavily breathing into the camera. It's just because I'm, like, leaning over it and it's super awkward and I'm trying to hold myself up. I don't know what any of this is from. This looks older. This looks like some of his older style. And I don't know much about this artist except the fact that he did the art and animation art for uh, Parasite and Uranice. Mostly bought it for Parasite and Uranus, so I don't really have much to say about these pieces. Pages are pretty thick. Oh, and I think he did Neon Genesis Evangelion. I think that's the one, or just, just Evangelion. I don't know which one is. Is there a difference between all the Evangelions? Isn't there, like, multiple ones? I still need to watch that. Can't wait. No idea what this is from. They look cute, though. Oh, here's, here's Evangelion. I really, really do need to watch this. I'm sorry if I'm being super quiet. And again, I'm not playing any music. Um, if you don't want to hear me talk, just mute it. I'm not going to talk all that much until we get into, like, the Uriana stuff. Or the Parasite stuff. Did I skip a page? Or did I skipped a page. Oh! My type. My type. Right there. See the scruffy chin and the longish hair. They don't have to long have long hair. I don't care about the hair, but the scruffy chin is a must. Jinji, why are you looking so stressed with a bloody hand? Oh, Kaudu. Kaudu? Kaudu? Whatever the fuck his name is. Aren't they gay together? Or like, there was lots of hinting at them being sort of gay together, or at least Kaudu was for Jinji. I don't know. I don't know. Penguin. Look how old this art style is. It's funny seeing how his art has evolved from, like, this, or unless he was going off of somebody else's art. 
like to get a certain style because there was a manga for this right is it finished i don't understand i don't know somebody explain these like showing the different colors that they like sketch the scene with. It is interesting. I have a friend who's very obsessed with this series. It is considered a classic so I should probably read it at some point. Oh well I'm not gonna censor that because it's art but like titties. I see nip. More nip. But yes, this is an art book. So don't report me for this. You can just look at it or not look at it. Your choice. I do this for the art, guys. So if you can't handle nudity in art, leave. I also didn't expect that. I didn't even realize there was nudity in Evangelion. Look a downgraded Yuri. <laughs> Them all with glasses. There is a lot of Evangelion art in here. I wonder if he has any originals in here. He probably does. Who knows? Maybe this is an original. I don't even. I don't even know. Sorry, my hands in the way. There's a cat in the corner. Not even halfway down the book. It's already seven minutes. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess the first like minute and a half was me talking, but whatever. I don't know what this is from either. I really want a Code Geass art book. If anybody knows of a Code Geass art book, Send me a link. I want one. I would love, love, love owning one. Oh my goodness. I love the art so much. And I would also love owning an art book for um, free. I own a, like a guidebook. But it's not really an art book. Um, I think there there is art books for your, for free. But the problem with the art books for free is they come in like... I think, I think there are books. I'm not even sure. I haven't seen anybody do reviews on them. They seem ridiculously expensive, super exclusive, and I couldn't, like, they were on only, I think, like, the KyoAni website or something like that, so you weren't able to just buy them, like, like this stuff, like, on CD Japan. Or maybe you could buy it on CD Japan, but I think it was, like, over $100 for, like, one volume, and then, like, 100 bucks for the other volume, and then it's just, it's just so much money. It's just so much money. You can tell it's his art style by the way he always draws nostrils on them. Which is cute. I think I read somewhere in an interview where he said like it gives a more range of emotion if you give them nostrils. This one's a really cute picture. I like that. But yeah. If you know where I could buy those Yuri... Or not Yuri on Ice. I'm so stuck in your Ice. Those free art books. Like let me know. I would be very interested in purchasing them. I might save up so I can buy them eventually because that is something I would really want and like I wanted when they were coming out but like $200 for each book plus shipping I just didn't have the money at the time and well, I really don't have the money right now but maybe I can save up for them I think he definitely adapts his art style to well I guess because he's doing anime right so it'd be adapting the art style to the mangaka. I think I said that wrong. Mangaka? Booty! And titties. Her nipples short, throwing shoe her th sh nim 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 nim, showing through her shirt. My legs are starting to go numb. 
from perching awkwardly like this. More nudity. Titties. Um, please don't report me. If you report me, I will have to re-upload this video 18 plus. And I don't want to do that because it would be sad if people couldn't enjoy this art book because it's not really 18 plus, there's just slight nudity. Like, there's a difference between 18 plus and nudity, okay? Nudity is the body, the body, it's just a body. Nothing to it. Gurren Lagon, Lagon, Lagoon, whatever the fuck it's called. It's Gurren Lagon, 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 Lagon. I don't care, whatever. I didn't expect the titties in this, not at all. I like this art style that he does. Like, this one does look a little more like Uranus. She makes me think of, uh, what's, his, what's her face? The teacher. The ballet teacher. I have so many of these flip through videos I need to film tonight because I want to get them all done in one sitting while I have this set up. Set up. Oh, hey! This is the ending sequence. For the first season, I need to shift my legs out, 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 for the first season of, um, Attack on Titan. Like, the first ending. That's really cool. I didn't realize he did that. Neato. That's cool that they included that. Wow. I hope there's like a shit ton of Yuri on ice. Ow, my legs. Mm, I just want to straighten them, but I can't. Right. <gasps> Parasite's next. I'm sorry, I just really like looking at that. Look! I love how, even when, I'm not just me, like everybody, well, I don't know everybody, but um, I seen the first trailer for Yuri on ice, and I was like, holy shit, why is she Nietzsche? Skating on ice because it literally looks exactly like him and that's I guess you find out. Oh, it's by the same dude Like did his character design or did his character whatever and that made me happy. I'm like, oh, I wasn't wrong Practically a Shinichi. Oh, this is sad. Oh, that's sad This is an amazing anime though if you guys are interested It's also a very good manga. The anime is made to be more modern though So they did adapt it have a more modern feel because the original manga was done I don't know if it was done in the 90s or something like that but it was done earlier on when cell phones and such were different so they definitely updated it but I didn't complain at all I feel like it worked very well mm. these are so cool I really want to own Parasite like the anime but uh, I can't afford it right now because Y'all know I'm gonna get the special edition whenever the hell Sentai Filmworks starts deciding to uh, ship to Canada. Because they have some really good sales occasionally, but they don't ship to Canada, which is really depressing. Here we go. You're real nice. Oh, I have a poster of this. Oh, that's cute. I love it. His face. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at that. Look at this face. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Baby. We got some Yuri Plazetsky now. We got some Victor now. He's so handsome. Oh, we got some process pictures of the uh, semi vicino vicino I can't pronounce it either. Skate program, baby. Look at that. It's very nice. Look at it. It's kind of hard to show you guys all of them because the lighting isn't amazing. But at least hopefully this will help you decide whether or not you want to buy it. So that looks like that was all the Yuri on Ice stuff. That's too bad. I kind of wish there was a little more. I mean, it's not a cheap book. So. I'm not complaining. It's got some really nice pieces in it. This looks cool. 
I don't know what it's from, but it looks cool. I'm surprised I know so little of his stuff. I like this piece too. And this is almost done now, so I'm going to just say real quick, uh, links in the description below for my social media and my affiliate links. So if you purchase through those two links, um, I have a Tokyo Taco Mode link and a CD Japan link. If you purchase through those, I get a small commission. So links all in the description below. This here was the art of Tadashi Hiramatsu. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!